Hello, right. hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for our Monday training, right? Live training. Uh, today, we have a fun topic because it's also a new product of ours. So very exciting stuff. Um, so are we good? Yeah, we're yeah. good. Awesome. So really, okay, what if we told you that we have an ancient secret from the rocks ancient. of the Himalayas, right? And that the secret can literally recharge your cells, leaving you revitalized and strong. It's a big deal. Five right? millennia is worth, yeah. Right. I mean, and again, even though this might be coming new into the public eye, this is not new. Not new, right? Not new at all. Right. So very exciting stuff. And we're really excited mm -hmm. that we have brought this to live good. So today we're going to discuss, or well, the topic is the benefits of Shilajit. So we're going to discuss what is Shilajit, which is in our product. The benefits of Shilajit, which there's many. So we'll just kind of dive into that one. That one will take us a little longer. Um, our product, Live Goods Himalayan Shilajit and Organic Sea Moss. And then because there's also organic sea moss, we'll finish with discussing the benefits of organic sea moss. Right? Yes. Awesome. And, okay. So questions. I know there's been a few that I've been getting um, via email about the new product because we did launch it. When did we launch it? Friday? Yeah. We launched it Friday. Wow. Um, I feel like it was longer ago. <laughs> Long weekend. Um, yes. Yeah, so we launched this on Friday. So we'll discuss, you know, all about it. Um, but the questions have been a little bit about hormone stuff. So we will touch on it all. But if you have questions, make sure that you're typing them into the comment section because we will hit up questions at the end. And as always, we love your comments. We like, please like, subscribe to our channel. You've got to subscribe because not only does that help us out, but it also helps us bring the content to you. You guys don't miss anything. Um, and you know, the more we can get it out there, the more we can share, the more we can help people change their lives, you know, through health and wellness. Right. Totally. I completely agree. Okay. So, um, now Ryan, our lovely formulator, Dr. Ryan, he is going to lead this one the most because it's, he's just been heavy on the research with Shilajit and and CMOS and yep. CMOS. Um, yep. So lots of information and he's got lots of studies to kind of point out and discuss because we just want you basically to get the gist of what it is, what it can do, how to take it, why we should all be taking it, you know, whatnot. So what does, um, what does it stand for? Oh, yeah, Sanskrit. Let's yes. talk Sanskrit, right? <laughs> you had a conqueror of mountains and destroyer of weakness. Gosh, oh my God. Can you believe something to be that awesome? It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is cool. I mean, you know, you're talking about Tibetan. Is that how you say it? I'm sorry, guys, if I butch that. Um, you know, Ayurvedic medicine, you know, talking about five millennia. So 5,000 plus years, Shilajit has been used uh, as a remedy. And had picked up that Sanskrit meaning, which is kind of cool. So yeah. yeah, we're here to talk about some stuff that, that it's like Ben even said last week, you know, this is one product you could build an entire company around. And uh, he wished it was here to him available 15 years ago. And I jokingly said, well, it's been around for 5,000 plus years. Sure. It's actually been around forever if you think about its origin and how it's made. So, right. but I, I want to talk about that today. I think that's a fun part of this conversation is to understand exactly where it comes from, how it's harvested and Right. Some things to look out for. Okay, so, so. Let, I mean, let's talk about that because we're talking about what is it. So you just did the the Sanskrit, but like it is, it's a waxy, sticky, tar-like substance found in the yeah. Himalayas. It, yeah, within a certain high altitude, high mountain, high altitude range in the uh, in Asia, really. And this is specific to the Himalayas, um, but there's certain other countries, obviously, that would border that and come up and have the same access to the substance. You know, you're talking about like a, it's a biomass, it's a biomass stimulant, and you've got like this is cool, but like it gets, it grows in the crevices of these mountain rocks. It gets compressed. It's multiple plant species in one. It kind of all just gets mixed together. It gets compressed. It gets fermented. It gets exposed to seriously harsh elements, high heat, very extreme colds. It gets exposed to lots of ultraviolet radiation. Right. It gets so these environmental extremes. So the plant matter when, as it ferments, I mean, it becomes rather resilient. You know, it releases, um, bioremediators for itself to protect itself um, and all these incredible compounds. I mean, this, this is a nutrient dense um, substance, right. you know, and it contains a lot of different things. It has, you know, well, specifically like the two unique molecules. Oh humic, gosh. Human conformic yeah. acid, which are very unique to Shilajit, right? They're not really found in that combination anywhere else in the world. It's very unique. And, um, 
fatty acids, amino acids, vitamins, minerals, tons of minerals. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, we yeah. were actually looking at, I mean, about 84 different minerals just, just. in shilajit alone. Mm. So, mm. you know, you take this little substance, it is just so powerful, has so many powerful things in it that benefit our health. And I mean, mm -hmm. like you said, Ben said, he wish it was, he wish he was taking <laughs> it, you know, so many years ago. And, and I, as do I, yeah. I mean, but this is actually, you know, our first time finally being able to take it, you know, trusting the source. Obviously we, we found it, we, we sourced it. Um, and let's just talk about why the sourcing of this specifically, this is so, absolutely is so important. Yeah. I think so. I mean, cause look, a lot of it's, it pay, there's a lot of products out there that are paste, right? I mean, what you ultimately want is an extract. You want something that is filtered, that is basically clean, but preserves all of the unique, um, constituents, right? All of the things we just kind of talked about. So you want to do that because the natural biomass, I mean, the natural element of it is it's contaminated. It has a lot of natural organics, things like heavy metals, right? things like uh, bacteria, like salmonella. Right. So, I mean, again, these are natural things from natural, the earth. Of course. So when, you know, anything that's coming from the earth, naturally is, is going to have these other, these elements. Yeah. So the sourcing of it is very important it, to make sure you don't have high levels of those elements where obviously we don't want those parts. Yeah, exactly. But the benefits are profound, you know, and there's a lot of things that it's got a significant amount of studies behind it. There's definitely a lot of research. I would say there's more so more research on the shilajit than there is actually on the sea moss. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, there's just so many benefits in both. The concept really, Lisa, was just to kind of attack it from a mineral perspective, you know, trace elements. That was the idea, really, is to get shilajit as well as the sea moss combined. You would get over 100, probably combined, over 100 uh, mm -hmm. minerals, vitamins, and, um, you know, a lot of nutrient density. And so, so many things that can so many things the body needs right right and we talk about essential all the time what does sure. it you know what does that mean so we need to get it from our diet correct right <laughs> need to get it from our diet or supplements so yeah and most people aren't getting it. and these trace elements and let's just talk about what trace is real quick trace just means it's in very small amounts within the body the body only needs small amounts of it and so <clears throat> that's you know that's that's all it means, right? But they're still essential. A lot of them are essential, which means you have to get right. them from a supplement. Yeah, right. Just because source. we need a small amount yeah, doesn't yeah. mean like we don't need it because it's a small amount. Right. We, we and, need our trace minerals. And needing those small amounts also means that they probably play a pretty cr critical function in growth and development as well. So you'll see a lot of the body systems rely on these elements. And when there's a deficiency, there are major downstream uh, issues. And right. So, so, I mean, no different than our other essential vitamins and minerals, really. Right. Right. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, in a sense, like that, like you've heard the, the term like superfood. So when you think of like a superfood, there's uh -huh. no real like definition. But what a superfood is is something that is extremely nutrient dense, mm -hmm. and you know, so this can be considered like a, a superfood, right? Sure. Um, okay, so let's just because there's a lot, let's there just talk lot. about like the benefits of just shilajit shil 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 alone. So. I mean, I know you have the studies on there, but I obviously do. we just talked about the abundance of, of trace minerals, uh, detoxification pro um, properties, hormone balancing, um, especially like thyroid health. Thyroid health. Is yeah. a big one. We have the iodine that's in the sea moss, and we'll talk about that. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, mitochondrial and ATP production. You sure. hear us talk about mitochondrial health all the time, mm -hmm. just part of it. Um, I was just reading a study this morning how it slows Alzheimer's. I mean, that's a big one. It can slow the progression, um, anti-inflammatory benefits, antiviral benefits, anti-cancer benefits, wow. yeah. gut health benefits. I mean, you when you look this up from, you know, Shilajit from a valid source, I mean, you will just find so many different um, research, research articles on it. And I know you have those, you have one that you had just found. Yeah, sure. And it had so many, were you going to pull it up or you just have it in your head? Uh, I mean, there was well, just so many. I, mean, I think there's so many. I think it's actually probably very helpful for everybody. And I did show this a little bit on the call last, last Friday, but you know, let's run down a few of them, right? Cause there's yeah. so many things here. You guys are probably wondering like, what would I, why would I take this? What would I take it for? I mean, obviously we just talked about all the mineral effects, but guys, this is like kind of and these are all referenced, right? So these are all referenced by peer-reviewed literature uh, studies. Anti-cancer effects. Shilajit is of interest for cancer. In vitro, shilajit has cytotoxic effects against breast and lung cancer cell lines. So they looked at uh, osteosarcoma, so it was a bone cancer model, and shilajit prevents, potentiates um, 
the prevention of meta, metas, metastasis induced uh, liver and kidney damage. So this is by, chemo, by chemotherapy though. So either right. way, uh, antioxidant effects, which is something I thought you would want to talk about sure, because how important we've talked about antioxidants are, you know, you probably know vitamin C and zinc and some different things like that, but the antioxidant effects are supposed, supposedly a big benefit of the Shilajit. Anti-ulcer, I'm just going to run down a bunch. Cardioprotective talks about the, uh, the, the repair of myocardial injury. So if you have like uh, a TIA or, um, uh, yeah, heart, well, I forget what the small transient dermatologic effects, beneficial for skin and anti-aging fatigue. And guys, this is all coming out of the natural medicines database. This is a actual monograph on Shilajit. Uh, fertility. So this is a big one, right? Because we did talk about this, but it's as an aphrodisiac, but can boost fertility. So the studies had shown an increase in testosterone and, uh, and follicle stimulating hormone in males. It did not affect the luteinizing hormone for you guys that really know what all that means, but it really reduced the oxidative stress in uh, semen analysis. So it was highly concentrated in semen. So in for male fertility was a big deal. And then also in female, it induced ovulation. So it had a beneficial effect on right. the female. Which is huge because it so many, big. like our fertility has gone to... Very low levels. Lowest crap. levels. Ever. Um, yeah, it's yeah. really sad. And it's just because of your really our toxic, unhealthy environment. So mm -hmm. anything that can naturally help our fertility so we don't have to constantly be dealing with this, you know, I mean, IVF is a wonderful thing and it's necessary for many people to actually like make a life and it's wonderful. But again, it's not always necessary if we can take care of ourselves other ways. You know, we talk about like the liver all the time and people always ask for a liver support product. And, you know, liver does a lot on its own, regenerates its own tissue, it, it detoxifies. But, you know, for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease has become a big problem. Even like I was saying this on Friday, there's a pediatric specialist, specialist now that just do basically fatty livers. I mean, it's crazy. But anyway, it can actually help with that as well. Um, it works on to moderately improve the HDL. Uh, immune effects, we did talk about quite a bit on Friday about immune, uh, the T cell proliferation and some different parts of the immune system. Metabolic effects, um, again, talking about the non-alcoholic fatty liver, but talking about uh, pre-diabetes, insulin resistance uh, type things, including type 2 diabetes, so it can help with that as well. Metabolic, we just had muscular effects. We talked about how it's an adaptogen. It can increase muscle strength and athletic performance. I mean, guys, the list just keeps going. This is right. crazy. Neuroprotective. So adaptogenic and can help with the benefit, can help with your stress response. Um, shown benefits in alcohol withdrawal symptoms. I mean, it's just, it's, it, powerful. It, this is seriously powerful stuff. It really is skeletal muscle effects. So it is increasing uh, bone density. Just think about that for a second, though. When you have bone density tests, it's a bone mineral density test, BMD. That's right. what it is. Right, right. They're, at, they're doing an x-ray, right, of your bone and looking at your mineral density. And what did we just say this supplement is rich in? Minerals. Minerals. Right. There's just so much benefit there. And of course, the body will always do what it has to do to maintain a sort, sort of a homeostasis. But, and that's why I always encourage people um, to consider su supplementing with supplements like a, a basic multivitamin, vitamin D, magnesium, shilajit, now the gut support, the different things, because cover your bases. Right. Cover your bases. Sure. And I know, um, I mean, this has been going on for probably a year. I've been getting emails asking, do you guys have a full book of humic acid supplement? You're planning to, blah, blah. So I feel like a lot of you know of the benefits sure. of full book of humic acid. Maybe you've never heard of shilajit itself, but you know, there you go. I mean, it's, it's a source, it's rich in the fulvic and humic acid. So happy to finally bring this. <laughs> yeah, for um, sure. Yeah. Okay, so this, let's talk about this. Let's do it. Okay, so this is our Live Good Himalayan Shilajit in organic sea moss. <clears throat> very, very, very proud to bring this. And we'll touch on what um, benefits of sea moss. But you have it, so it's an extract tested 50% fulvic acid. That's what you want to look for. Oh, what you this guy looks like, he looks like, Dr. Ryan looks like Clark Kent in <laughs> my glasses. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, Love it. Um, so this product, guys, for members, it's only $14.95. For non-members, $19.95. I mean, this is pretty out of control because I do know of a very popular company that just recently launched their Shilajit gummy, and I think it's upwards close to $80. For a 30 day supply. It shouldn't be that cheap. I and mean, we have no margin in this. I'm yeah. just telling you I mean, straight up. Again, it, our goal is to get this around. I mean, exactly. we want everybody to be on this stuff. The more that we can spread this stuff, the more the world can become healthier. And really, it's that's the underlying mission because it's very, very sad. Sad, sad, sad. We we hate what's going on. And 
we want to make a difference and you can't make a difference if you're charging $80 for a product because that's just one product and it's just not sustainable. And the membership's what helps. And we want you guys, we encourage you guys to get on the membership. Of course, there's yes. value to you and there's value to us. Right. Um, taking the, uh, a lot about taking it. Yes. Um, empty stomach is best, correct? Yeah. Start with an empty stomach. If you don't tolerate it well, take it with food. That's simple. Right. Two capsules a day. You can and split split them up. Even consider splitting them. Do one in the morning, one in the evening. And it can be taken with other supplements it, it too, like say a probiotic yeah, that yeah, we say take can. in the morning. It can. So they can be combined. Yep. Um, while we're talking about it too, I have had some questions about um, people that are on thyroid medications. Yes. And asking if they can still take it because we do, you know, as we've talked about, and we'll talk about a little more with the CMOS, that there's thyroid health benefits to this. Um, it's due to the rich iodine. Mm -hmm. And many um, people with hypothyroidism are low in iodine, deficient in iodine. So just make sure your practitioner knows because if you start to take things naturally that can benefit your thyroid, maybe the medication you're on, maybe you just need to change the dose. You know, things, and anytime you're taking, you know, a hormone, you should be constantly rechecking your, your levels to make sure your dose is right. So um, just, yeah, make sure they know because maybe your doctors will say, wonderful, I love it. Let's take it for three solid months and then recheck your, your, you know, your um, thyroid levels and see where you're at. So definitely you, you can, and it, it'll help you. Um, what else about the product? Well, I was going to go into, I, you know, it's like Shilichi the main star, but the, the CMOS shouldn't be dismissed as a, it's not as nothing. I mean, you're talking about a product that has 92 you know, vitamin or minerals to it as well, right? 92 like, minerals. Yeah. So you're That's very cool. nutrient dense as well. Great um, for many things. And, you know, like Ivan just asked for detox. Shilajit and CMOS are Both great detox. detox. They improve the detoxification pathways. Um, you just talked about hormonal support. You know, there's so much on the energy and the skin health and the metabolic systems, you know, that, that these right. nutrients and vitamins and minerals play a role in. So, and this and help with libido. Libido, of course. That's a lot yeah. to do with the hormone. Yeah, for sure. Uh, absolutely. And so there's so much benefit there. Um, Someone was asking, I saw it way up that, you know, typically you find sea moss in like a, almost like the, the tar-like form. But, you know, we have our, I mean, not, not sea moss, I'm sorry. Yeah, so the, yeah, the resin. And we have chose to, you know, make it into a, yeah. it's not a tablet, it's a capsule. It's so a capsule. powder inside. Yeah, right. Um, any benefits different, you know, just, I mean, I know well, taking I said, it, this is a very easy way of taking it, which is always... Well, that's, uh, that's what I said earlier, though. This is the only way you want to consume Shilajit. You do not want to consume the resin. Because the the of... resin is not standardized. The extract is. You know exactly yes. what fol percent fulvic acid. We, we went with the highest possible amount, fulvic acid, 50% standardized. You, it's no, there's, no better, there's no better form. Uh, the resin would be contaminated. The resin is right. unpredictable amounts. Um, you, it's a lot of inconsistency and honestly, it wouldn't have a lot of good tolerance. I mean, people would drop out pretty quick considering they have to scoop some resin right. and put it into right. a drink. It's just messy. Yeah. And you can um, find this information too, pretty quick online when you search. Cause there's like warnings with like Shilajit. Like, oh, is there? Make, yeah. There was that. one. Like, make sure you're taking it from a reliable source. Make sure you're taking one that's sourced properly. Make sure you're of like, course. you, you want, you don't, otherwise you, again, you'd be taking the, um, the um, heavy metals and whatnot that, that you don't want, right? Because it comes from naturally from the earth. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. Okay. So we kind of in a, in a little bit of a nutshell talked about this and talked about the, sea, the sea moss. Mm -hmm. Um But also, you know, sea moss is also high in fiber. Oh. So great for the gut health. Really uh, good for gut health. Like, so it's a really nice combination too with our gut health supplement. Yeah. It's actually a great prebiotic. And it really contributes to the formation of butyric acid, which if people know about gut health or want that butyric acid. Right. So butyric is important. Break things down. Um, there was something else I was reading, um, how it's very, I don't remember exactly which one it was. I, I know I have it my notes over here. Um, it's very alkaline. So like, you know, we always want to make sure we, we, you know, we're keeping a nice alkaline body, right? So it's a, a very alkaline, which one was it? I'm sorry. I, you know, it's funny, Alkaline, guys. There we go. The, the way CMOS. We, yes. Sorry. Yeah, CMOS. Yeah, yeah. CMOS. CMOS. The property yeah, yeah. of CMOS can help to get mm -hmm. rid of the acidity in the body, which may give rise to conditions like inflammation. So back to circle around helps with inflammation. <laughs> it, it's wild, though. I get so distracted by your guys' comments. It's so funny. I appreciate everything. I should just keep posting them up here. Tons and tons of good comments coming in, though. And um, yeah, look, if we're, all right, so we want to talk about administration. You want to talk about the best way to get the most out of it. We kind of just did... Um, 
talked about the testing, the importance of transparency. If you are, like, always make sure the brand does post your testing so you have certificate analysis with your heavy metal testing. Oh, and, and locations. And so you said Shilajit's from the Himalayas in Asia. Yeah. And CMOS, you said, was from Canada. From Canada. Organic yeah, CMOS organic from Canada. CMOS is from Canada. And we do have the certificate of analysis on the website, so please yeah. check that out. But always, again, if you're ever taking a Shilajit, like, find that certificate analysis. Make sure it's tested to make sure there are not some of those heavy metals in there. Yeah, exactly. And then, look, you want to try this, give it a couple weeks. And if you, know, if you need to take it with food, take it with food. If you want to split the dose, split the dose. You actually have quite a bit of flexibility. I'd be careful with taking it around magnesium. I always kind of say separate from your magnesium. Um, you know, it, otherwise, you know, just experiment and see what works best for you. But like I said, you want to give it a couple weeks of trial period just to... Um, Right, but I don't think you'll have any. Yeah, I don't. I didn't see or hear anything any real side effects. As far as contraindications with medications go, um, I I would have to see a specific list of meds, but there's not a whole lot there to be concerning, guys. Um, The thyroid is the main one that jumps out at me. The, um, I mean, it's whole food based. This is usually this is no different than us trying to tell you to eat right the foods that contain these vitamins and minerals. So, yeah. And always, like the goal is to get you know our vitamins and minerals as naturally as we can. And the, even though this is in a, a container, <laughs> and this is this is natural. This is natural stuff. So, you know, we should all be taking it. Again, if, if you're a member, if you're not a member, you should be <laughs> because it only makes sense. But $14.95, like there's no reason to not yeah, exactly. add this into your routine. Now, this does not replace anything. This is unique. This is unique on its own. So, so many, so many health benefits. Guys, I mean, we did. A, I think that was a pretty good uh, overview of of these two. I mean, this is yeah. Uh, well, there was not much more to elaborate. It's, sure, this is this is it in a nutshell. And uh, yeah, there's no like. And if you guys want any access to the studies, um, you know, I have I, I, I pay for access to the, some of these clinical uh, research databases. So if you guys want anything, you can feel free to email me, and I'll respond back to you. Yeah. Good anyway, stuff. guys, I think that's all. I mean, I kind of going through. There's not really questions we didn't cover. Right. Oh, you did say something on Friday. Let me be good to say it here. So we do have the organic sea moss, but why not organic shilajit? Good question. Was, yeah, was. I wish this was USDA certified organic. It should be organic, uh, meaning I would do it organic if there was a certified a company that was certified organic that sources the shilajit. There's just not. Right. So sometimes we can't certify the whole. Sometimes when you're thing, sometimes but. when you're early adopter, kind of early to market. I mean, I, my guess is that some company will come along and get a certification. Um, but and don't, then we could always just switch. But don't bat, a, don't bat an eye at it. Honestly, um, it's tested to the same extent. It would pass with flying colors. There's no doubt in my mind. So right. I'm super happy with it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good stuff. So, yeah, make sure you get your organic, your Shilajit with organic CMOS today. Um, check out our website, livegood.com. Um, you'll see also all of our other amazing products on there. Each one very unique on its own. Make sure you're subscribing to our channel. We do these calls, um, these lives every Monday at noon, uh, just typically bringing a different topic to the table. But of course, if we've just launched a product, you know, we're going to bring that topic up as well. That may, there may even be one next, next Monday. Yeah. Another new one. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It was like, you know, we start to work on all these products and sometimes they just all line up, boom, 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 launching <laughs> very close together. So um, I think we might have another one next week. So we don't exactly know what we're talking about because we have to make sure it's here and we're ready for it. Um, if it is, we're, we'll be coming next Monday with it live to you guys. So again, make sure you subscribe. And thank you for all your comments. Thank you for all your support. Um, we love you guys, and we're happy to always have you joining us. For sure. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a great week. Talk to you all later. Take care. Bye.